Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, uh, Treasure Hunt KC. My name is Dean. I hit thrift stores, garage sales, and flea markets, and I look for things that I can buy to flip on eBay for a profit. What's going on with my hair? It's a little freaky looking. Okay, there we go. It's a little better. Well, now you can see my giant forehead. Anyway, um, so I have a couple things going out today. Um, first one is this Eddie Bauer corduroy long sleeve button up nope sorry button down anytime the collar gets buttoned down to the shirt that's a button down if the collar is free floating it's just a button up so I sold this for $22 plus shipping and we'll get that out in the mail first thing in the morning. Next up is a pair of Dansko clogs. If you find these, buy them every time. Uh, they're normally not as, as elaborate as these. These are embossed. Uh, these are size 40. You can see the bottom. They look almost brand new except for a couple of stones there I can dig those out um, I bought these for five dollars at a garage sale and I sold them for $29.99 plus shipping next up is another pair of Dansko these sold back to back to two different people it was really weird again these are a size 40 you can see they have like a stripy design and it's got like a glitter print in there Again, the bottoms look almost brand new. Insides look like they've never even been worn. Uh, the lady said that she was a nurse and she had several pairs of these in the last two pairs she had. I told her I wish I'd have gotten there a little sooner. I'd have bought all of them. Also going out is this Hello Kitty bottle. What's nice about this is inside of it, it's an umbrella. So that just pulls out. And you pop it up. Uh, I got this at the Goodwill uh, bins or the Goodwill outlet, and I probably paid about a dollar eighty for this, and sold it for eleven ninety nine plus shipping. And the last thing I've got going out today is this Vampirina. It's called a Spookalele. Uh, it opens up little mouth I took the batteries out because the dadgum thing wouldn't stop playing it was driving me nuts uh, I've been sitting on this for about probably about three months now I, I didn't think it was gonna sell I think I was just I was actually getting ready just to donate this uh, I think I got this at the Goodwill outlet also for uh, probably about a dollar eighty weighs about a pound and I sold that for $16.99 plus shipping so those are the four things I've got going out that I sold. And these are some things that I picked up today on my way to work. This is Ralph Lauren Classic Fit 3XLT. The XLT means that it is for big and tall. Uh, these sell really fast. They have about a hundred percent sell-through rate. Actually, I think it's about 98%. There was a few more listed than there were sold, but I got it for four dollars and ninety-eight cents, and I'll easily be able to get that fifteen to sixteen bucks for that plus shipping. Let's see. This is. Another Ralph Lauren Classic Fit. This one is a 2XLT. And I picked this one up at the Salvation Army for $3.99. It was green tag, so it was half price. So I actually probably only paid about two bucks for this. Uh, again, I shouldn't be having any trouble getting $15 to $16 for that. 
uh, probably one of my favorite finds of the day right here is this uh, vintage Patagonia. I picked that up for $3.98. It is a 2XL. And man, I like that design. It's a mustard color. And if I was a, bit, a little bit bigger of a guy, I would keep this for myself because I like it so much. But it would just hang off of me. And I'll probably I'll list that one up. Um, I'll probably go with my regular price on that between $11 and $13, like $11.99 plus shipping, $12.99 plus shipping. This is a really cool Pokemon shirt. Uh, you can see you got Pikachu on the bottom, and he's painted all of the other Pokemon. Um, this is printed on an Anvil t-shirt, and it is a size extra large. I got that for $3.98 at Thrift World. Uh, this one, it's not vintage, so I'll probably just list it up for $12.99 plus shipping. If my daughter sees this shirt, I will not be able to sell it. It will be gone. It's a Wonder Woman jersey. DC Comics tag. It's a women's XL. And I got that for $6.99. That's at the um, Salvation Army, I believe. And that one will go up for $12.99. Kansas City Chiefs, baby. 2016 champions. That's an NFL team apparel. Size large. And I picked that up for $3.98 at Thrift World. The funny thing is, uh, being in the Kansas City area, I, I pass up a lot of Kansas City Chiefs, Kansas City Royals, uh, Kansas City Mavericks, um the soccer team i run across that stuff all the time i kind of just pass it by because you know I, I i i know that i can get it at any time but what i what i forget is that there are people who lived in kansas city and moved away and they can't get it or there's people that have never lived in kansas city but they like our teams and so that's something we got to remember even though you know we can we can get those things like say if you live in dallas you're going to be able to run across dallas cowboys stuff um what's the baseball team texas rangers texas ranger stuff you're going to run across all the time now see me i'm from dallas and i go on ebay all the time and look up dallas cowboy stuff texas ranger stuff and and i buy a bunch of stuff off ebay from my hometown so no matter where you live whatever you're your local teams are it's probably a pretty good idea if you want to pick that stuff up and put it on ebay and you probably make a pretty good uh dollar off of it this one i'll list up for uh 12.99 plus shipping uh got that for like i said 3.98 at city thrift i gotta stand up to show you this one This is a thrift uh, or a fleece blanket that I got, and man, that is so cool. It's got all the M and M's on it, and yep, all of them. Um, I looked up comps on eBay for that, and they weren't real good. But I'll probably, I may actually put that on Facebook Marketplace to see if I can get you know ten or twelve bucks for it. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. Another thing I like to pick up a lot, and you can come across these in any thrift store, and just about every one of them will sell. Coffee carafes. Nothing spectacular about them. 
but these things break all the time. This is a Braun 12 cup. I got it for $2 at Thrift World. And this particular one will go for about $15. The only thing that's a pain in the ass about these is the shipping. You have to pack them really well. And you definitely want to make sure that you charge shipping. Got another one here. This is a bun. Bun is a really popular coffee pot brand. And this one is a tin cup. I uh, got that for $2 as well. And this one will probably go for about $17 or $18. Let's see, I got two more of those. This one is a Mr. Coffee 5 cup. Uh, the small ones sell really well. I'll probably get rid of this one before I sell those two, which I don't plan on having these two for very long. And I also got, this is my last one. And this is, I want to say this is Javelia. Now you can see that is grimy and gross. And a little bit of the letters have worn off. But it is a 12 cup, and once I get that cleaned up, uh, about the best way I've found to clean uh, coffee pots is a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid, and may it scrub right out. So, so that's what I've got going out. That's my finds for the day. Um, if you have not. Uh, subscribed go ahead and subscribe uh, like this leave me a comment below uh, tell me what you think I could do be doing better probably my words sounds like but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one